Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video, we're going to start making a poker video game in TypeScript. If you don't know what TypeScript is, it's pretty much a super set of JavaScript that adds more strict typing. This is not a video on how to learn TypeScript. There are definitely other videos on that. So if you need to figure out what TypeScript is, check out their documentation or some other videos on YouTube. Anyways, let's get started. So this is what I have in my TS config. It's pretty empty right now, but since this is going to eventually be a browser game, we're going to be compiling for ES5. Okay, I'm going to put my TypeScript files in TS directory. So get everything in there. And our out file um, app.js. Sounds good. Okay, now let's create this folder and add a file. I'm just going to call it run.ts and let's start our compilation. All right, wonderful. So now we have this and that is working. Beautiful. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to start out with is our card class. So I'm going to make class card and um, Let's see, what do we want to take here? We're gonna say rank, which is a number, and a suit, which is a suit. I'm gonna make an enum suit here, uh, like so. And in here we're gonna have spades, spades, clubs, um, hearts, and diamonds. These are in no particular order. I'm sure there's an official order somewhere. I don't know what it is. Sorry. Okay, so this dot rank equals rank and this dot suit equals suit. Um, public read only rank is going to be a number. So that's that. That takes care of that. And public read only suit is a suit. Like so, actually. Let me make that a number. Um, all right, now we're going to need some extra methods for this card so that we can display properly to the user what exactly this card is. So um, public get rank name. So that'll be like that. Um, this will return the actual text like ace or king. Or if it's just a regular old number card, it'll return three or four or five or six or whatever. So I'm going to give us an array here, uh, private static rank names equals this array. And we have ace and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and uh, jack, queen, and king. I have to update all of these because they're not all twos. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so then rank name, that's going to be pretty easy. We'll just return rank, rank, no, uh, card dot rank names, this dot rank minus one because, um, this rank is going to be a 1 for ace, a 2 for 2, a 3 for 3, a 4 for 4. So, and since arrays are 0 based or indexed or whatever, you know what I mean. Okay, then we got suit name as well, public get suit, suit name, string, return suit, this.suit. That gives us our suit name. If you uh, read up on how enums are defined in TypeScript. Actually, I can show you. Oh, it's not compiling for some reason. What? There we go. All right. So if we look at this, we see um, suit dot spades equals zero, as well as suit zero equals spades. So since we're storing the number of the enum. Then, if we say suit 
like say we had say this dot suit contained the number two so suit two equals hearts pretty easy to understand all right and lastly we want public get name and that's just going to be the name of the card string so return this dot rank name plus of so it'll be like ace of diamonds so we'll say this dot suit name whoops suit name like that so that'll return um, like three of clubs or jack of spades or something like that so um, I'm going to create a new card here real quick console dot well yeah I'm gonna create a new card so I'll say um, let c e equals new card and in there we'll put a number so like six and a suit so that'll be like suit dot diamonds for example console dot log c dot name and see what we get so I'm gonna come over here and say node js app dot js and we get six of diamonds perfect and if I replace this with a one it should now say ace of diamonds and if I replace this with clubs now we get ace of clubs all right wonderful so that's working now let's define a deck class deck class deck in here um, constructor I'm not going to take anything in the constructor we'll just have this wait no um, private cards is a card array okay and this dot cards equals an empty array for now then we'll loop through uh, all our suits let the initial suit is zero suits is less than four s plus plus and then loop through all the ranks so let r equal one r is less than less than or equal to 13 r plus plus okay and then this dot cards dot push new card rank suit like that and then this dot well actually um let's add another method public shuffle and this will shuffle the cards now this is not by any means going to be cryptographically secure or anything it's just really fast to write short and easy so i'm going to say this dot cards dot sort by math dot floor math dot random times three minus one like that that should give us a pretty random sort, I think. I think. Maybe that should be two. Yeah, I think that should be two. Um, and finally, we want public public draw. And that'll return a card. Return this dot cards dot shift and this is giving us an error because shift is not always going to return a value because the array might be empty but we'll assume that in this poker game we're never going to um, run out of cards because it's just going to be like a, a single player poker thing where you get five cards and discard a couple and then and then you, you get a payout or something. There's like video poker machines is what it's called or something like that. So we'll, we'll force this to be a card. I mean, we're never gonna use up 52, all 52 cards and we'll just generate a new deck for every, every new game. All right, so now we have shuffle and draw. So now let's come over here. Let D equal new deck, d.shuffle, console log, d.draw, dot name because that's going to give us a card all right let's see what we get oh that's not good all oh, right there now it should work 
There we go. Ace of hearts. Nine of spades. Ace of spades. Ace of hearts. My goodness, a lot of aces. Aces and nines and kings. Okay. Maybe this is is maybe this should be three. That looks better distributed. Alright, well it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's just for fun. So, there you go. That is the first video in this series on how to make poker in a video poker type game. It's not going to be official poker with players and a house and all that because that's way too complicated. I mean, unless you want to get into multiplayer. But that would take a long time and be a lot of work. But I don't, I don't know. If you're interested in that kind of thing, let me know in the comments. And I'll see what we can do. Because, I mean, Node.js is really fun. But, yeah. These are deck and card classes for now. In the next video, I expect we're going to be making, uh, like, how to score a hand or something like that. That, that sounds good. And then after that, we'll make the user interface and uh, see see where we go from there. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned something from it. My name is Jacob. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good one.